hear comments like, painting glass is so difficult, or I don't know how to paint glass, so I leave all glass objects out of my paintings. Hi, I'm Gail Sibley, and in this pastel demo, I am going to be painting these two glass bottles. And so hopefully along the way, you will get some clues and some tips on how to paint glass. And I will be using Unison Starter Kit of 18 soft pastels. So let's go pastel. How to paint glass. Well, I'm gonna surprise you by saying it's a lot about values, haha. <laughs> And if you've been watching any of my other videos, you know that's, that it shouldn't be a surprise that I say it's about values, because it really is. When, you, um, when, you're looking, when you're looking at an object, you know, we get really caught up in the idea of glass and how difficult it is, because it's transparent and we see reflections and we see dark bits and we see just... There's just so much going on and we we work ourselves up and we say, oh my gosh, glass is so difficult to paint. Well, really, it's not that much more difficult than painting a flower or a, a hand or a tree. It really is about examining that object and by doing so, really beginning to see what's there. And what's there is darks and lights. And of course, the other thing that's there that's really important when we're painting glass is to see the shapes. There's the big shape, the big shape being the sort of outline, the contour of the object. And, and then there's the small shapes. And the small shapes can be made up of values. And of course, that means colors within the bottles itself or any glass that you're doing. And the small shapes will reveal all the sort of the distortions and all the inter interesting things that that make up the glass. As usual, I'm going to be I work in a limited palette here, and um, also a limited value pattern, sort of lit, light, mid, dark. And you've seen right from the beginning of the video that I put in those the darks, the dark blue, and then the very light yellow and the red. And if I've chosen those, they were sort of colored paper behind my glass because I wanted to show you how really when you're painting glass, you're painting what's behind the glass. And in fact, you're painting what's around, everything that's affecting the glass. So uh, anything that's reflecting against it. So some in some parts that red paper reflects up into the the bigger bottle and creates those sort of reddish tinges on the right hand side. The fun thing about glass is the, the way that the background affects in very unexpected ways uh, the glass that you're painting. So, you know, look, see, and then do. So look and really begin to see what's there and then put that down. I leave, of course, the highlights um, till the end. And again, the highlights aren't necessarily white. They are reflecting the light around them. So the light maybe has a blue, bluish tinge or a yellow tinge. So even though they're very light, look very carefully. Um, and the other thing is to look at the contour edges, the edges of the glass. Is it darker or lighter than the background? Paint what you see, not what you think is there. So in summary, look at the shapes, and look at the values and remember to squint to see those values. I think we're just about finished there. And here are the 10 pastels that I used and the finished painting. I hope that helped you understand something about how to paint glass. Go ahead and try it and let me know how it goes. And if you have questions, leave them in the comment box below. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and share it with all your painting buddies. And if you want more videos like this, go ahead and click that big red subscribe button below. Thanks so much for watching. I hear comments all the time like, I. 
I hope that helped you. Helped you. Uh, glass. If you 